was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was staring not even a mouse Welcome back to another episode of A Very Merry Christmas and today I'll be showing you festive books that I love to read during the month of December. I personally like reading. I like reading all sorts of books that I find interesting like storybooks, um, inspirational books. It's recently that I started reading inspirational books so yeah I read, I have picture books, I have magazines, catalogs like you name it I, I, I like reading okay so these are some of the festive books that I read in the month of December these are my favorite ones I have more but I'm just showing you my favorite ones yeah so let's get into it so the first book I would like to show you is this one it is Christmas stories for the hat and I love this book so much it has so many cute inspirational story like you read it then you feel inspired or you feel touched it contains some heartwarming stories that you will love this was my mom's favorite christmas book she loved reading it so i think you get yourself one i'll list all the books in the description box the title and those who wrote it so this is my favorite the second one i would like to show you is a treasury of Christmas classics and it includes a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens I personally even though I have this book haven't read a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens I prefer watching them so I've watched all the versions that were released I've watched the movie ones I've watched um, Jim Carrey's own I've watched Disney's own the Muppets Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse, Barbie. Barbie has like most people have created the movie or cartoon. So I prefer to watch that one than to read them. So this book contains poems, um, stories, hymns. We three kings of Orient are uh, hark the herald angel sing, and it also has scriptures like the story of the birth of Jesus Christ from Luke chapter two and the coming of the wise men in matthew chapter 2 so this is a christmas book this is your christmas bible yeah the third one i would love to show you is christmas after all this book is about the great depression diary of mini Swift, even though it's fiction christmas story um that was written in the setting of the great depression so it was through this book that I learned about the Great Depression that happened in the United States. So thanks to this book, I know about the Great Depression. And at the last page of the book, they contain pictures, vintage pictures of the Great Depression era. And even though they were going through a very bad situation, but you can see how life was very simple at that time. So this book I loved. I love the way they were able to celebrate Christmas at the end, they strive hard, they were still having hopes and it's a very heartwarming story, like it touched my heart, I love the story so much. The third, is it the third? I'm, I'm losing count, I think it's the fourth one. So these two books are the fourth ones I would love to show you, this is Christmas Is and this is Christmas, A Christmas to Remember. They are just like this one it's just that this one you can easily drop it in your bag when you're on your way to work or to school and you are in traffic and you read maybe a page or two you can easily read this whole book at one sitting but 
maybe you just need an inspirational quote or a short story and you read this so this one contains uh stories of the birth of jesus christ short little inspirational quotes and stuff and this one has um recipes um poems short stories and i bought this because of my mom it's, they remind me of my mom i bought this one because she loved reading this one so i bought this the next one is a novel a harlequin novel those of you who love reading you are familiar with silhouette and harlequin so this is a christmas harlequin novel don't mind the way the book is i've read it so much it has been destroyed so this is a cowboy christmas and it has three stories in it my favorite one was the second one which is the homecoming scene that's that was my favorite if you've read it comment down below which was your favorite story from this collection like a cowboy christmas so if you haven't read it too i suggest you read it next one i'm about to show you is a book i read when I was a young girl and this is it in fact it's even two books yeah. I put this in there because it has lose its shape but I'll insert the correct picture here so you see how it looks like this book is a book of tongue twisters festive tongue twisters for kids the tongue twisters are not very hard um, like um, Bill buys Blair a big black bear like it for kids it's not and they have beautiful pictures in it and it's very old like when I was I think four years old or so and I had they bought this book for me and I'm still having it and the next one is this I also bought one of, I think I was 9 10 11 I, I'm not sure but I bought it myself I remember that Christmas year I my brothers and I we started this we learned about saving, so we said we want to save our pocket money to celebrate Christmas. So we, the three of us, we um, saved money, and at the end, we used the money we got to buy the things we want. And this was one of the things I bought: ten Christmas tales. The next one I want to show you. I don't really use it, but this is a Bible, New Testament Bible for the festive season. So it is English Standard Version, and what I love about this is um, they have readings and reflections for christmas eve and readings and reflections for christmas day so it's like a devotional for you that a family or a single person can do on christmas eve and on christmas day so that was all the books that i love but there's a new addition that i bought this year and that is chicken soup for the soul christmas treasury i am a big fan of chicken soup the first chicken soup book I read was in SHS and it was chicken soup for the teenage soul and since then I've been loving their books and this year I decided to buy one of their Christmas collection which is Christmas treasury. In chicken soup they normally call for submissions so if you feel you want to send a submission to chicken soup you send it to them and they'll publish it for you in one of their books i'll put their link in the description but if you are interested their personal stories i relate to some of them that's why i love chicken soup it shows that i'm not alone and i almost forgot i love one of these john grisham christmas books i think the title was skipping christmas i'll put it somewhere here i don't have the physical version but if i get the physical version i'll I'll buy. I have the digital version, and the story was so nice. I've watched the movie. The title is, I think, the title is Christmas with the Crumb. Yes, I just didn't want to forget that story. It's so hilarious. Like, I love that story. It's a very funny story. And I was so shocked John Grisham can write books like that. So, when I was even reading the book, because most of the time he writes about law, like, you know, so. <laughs> I was reading the book I was hoping that when the couple travel they will find themselves in a situation where they will need a lawyer but at the end I didn't meet any lawyer in the story so thumbs up to John Grisham <laughs> those of you who don't like reading books about law that book 
it's for you you can read it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it what is your favorite book to read during the festive season comment down below the book you love to read during the festive season because me myself i want to add more to these festive books i have already and i'm trying to create a festive library so please comment down below the books you love to read during the festive season I'll see you in the next episode of A Very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.